Hey guys, me and Dave. It's uh, 727 2020. It's uh, Monday. So I thought I would do a little video. Um, and just. Um, I wasn't going to do a video, but I, th I thought I would tell you guys about my night last night. Um, I went to bed about 1230, uh, 1230 a.m. last night. And um, they let me sleep about an hour and a half. And then they decided to sexually assault me at 2 a.m. About 2 a.m. Um, they sexually assaulted me, and then, um, I went back to bed, and, um, they started to hit me at 5.20 a.m. Um, I was starting to get hit, um, they were, you know, like I say a million times, it's hard to explain, um, some of these frequencies they use on me, um, they can, um, you know, they can make you feel a little uneasy, um, a little agitated and stuff like that. Um, and then they can uh, uh, put um, images in your head, and then they can put subliminal, subliminal uh, um, you know, subliminal messages in your head too, um, where it really frustrates you. Um, when they're doing images and subliminals and all this stuff, um, it's made to make you feel a little frustrated because you got two parts going there. You got images, they're shooting in your head, and then they do subliminals at the same time. And it, um, it's frustrating. Um, and then on top of it, you know, people talk about the inner voice and all this stuff. Um... You know, when they do the inner voice on me, um, it's not my inner voice. It's not me saying it. It's their thoughts. You know, they can do that through the inner voice. So, if they're putting thoughts in your head, and it's going through your inner voice, that's not me doing it, you know. Um, it's them. You know, so I know a lot of people, maybe people can't tell that it's not their inner voice or whatever. Um, so when they do things in your inner voice, it's not, it's not us doing it. It's their thoughts. It's their thoughts. And they can almost make you say things out loud, like for speech. You know, they can almost make you word things out loud, you know. And it's their thoughts, it's their inner voice, it's not mine. I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not doing anything. And these people are manipulating my body. You know, they're putting images and subliminals and inner voice and all this stuff. It's not me. I'm not doing anything but sitting here, you know. And it's all them. You know, maybe people can't tell the difference. If they can't, you could be in a lot of trouble if you can't read active memory and you can't tell that these thoughts and the inner voice thoughts and the subliminals aren't yours you could be in a lot of trouble and they could take you over you know they could take you over if you can't recognize what's going on um, they can take you over um, and control you um, Personally, I think there's some TIs out there that are controlled, and they don't think they're controlled. Um, I think they have a handle on some of these TIs that um, think they have freedom, and they think they're not controlled, and they think they're so strong, and all this stuff. You know, Dr. Duncan even said in a, a lecture... Um, if you think these guys can't take you over, you're wrong. They can overpower you. You know, if you know if you think they can't take you over, you know you're fooling yourself. You really are. Um, if they don't take you over, they're going easy on you. They can do so many things with these weapons. They can take take you over like that. You know, they can overpower your free will. If they want to, you know. So, 
anyway, going back to last night, they sexually assaulted me. Um, they uh, were doing, um, you know, 520 in the morning. They were making, give me some frequencies that make me feel uncomfortable, a little agitated. You know, a little bit, you know, just agitated. Um, I was laying in bed trying to trying to fight it because I was trying to sleep until 6.30 in the morning when I have to get up and feed the dogs, you know. So they were kind of doing that. And then I, I laid down after I fed the dogs. And they were kind of still doing that for a couple hours. And then they kind of went to remote neural manipulation, throwing all kinds of images in my head and all this stuff. And then, you know, I mean... They do all this stuff to me, and it wears me out. And I don't get out of bed until 2 o'clock in the afternoon because it wears me out so much, you know? So, here I am. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I, I'm like, I got to get up and do all this stuff, you know? Um, but they will do this all morning long, you know? 8 hours, 10 hours, or whatever it is. They will do it all morning long. They're watching us live. They're watching us live, you know? Somehow, I know there's some disagreement on how they're doing it. I personally think they're watching a monitor um, and they're watching us sleep. They're watching us, you know, they're watching us. It's like they can't look away, okay? Um, they're watching us. And they do all these certain, you know, different frequencies and stuff like that and all this stuff. You know, if they want if they want to make your feet itch, they watch you eat your feet all night, all morning long or whatever, all night long. You know, I mean, they're watching us somehow. They are watching us in real time somehow. You know, and that's just the truth of it. You know, so that's what they were doing to me um, earlier today. So. Um, it hasn't been that bad. I wake up and get ready for the day and all this stuff. It hasn't been that bad. Um, a little manipulation here and there. You know, you... I took Tanner to the park and we went for a little ride and all this stuff. They manipulate me. Um, like I say, they can put things in your inner voice. It's not you doing it. It's them putting things in your inner voice. You know, you could see a girl... And they could be like, oh, look at that, oh my god. Uh, you know, it's them doing it in your inner voice. They can, they can, um, you know, it's hard to explain. They can do it where it, you you think it's your inner voice. It's not. It's them putting thoughts in your, in your mind, you know, in your voice or whatever you want to call it, you know. It's them doing it. They can do it more if they want to. If they want to turn it up, then they can do it more where you're almost molding out what they're putting, the phrase that they're putting in your mind, you know, for speech. You know, you're almost molding it. If they want to do that, they can do that, you know. Um, but... When, it, when people say, oh, yeah, it's my inner voice, and I'm, you know, that's them. It, you got to be able to recognize this stuff. Um, reading active memory. you got to be able to tell whether it's your own thoughts or their thoughts, okay? That's very important. If you can't tell the difference between their thoughts and your thoughts, you're in a little bit of trouble um, there, you know. You're in a little bit of trouble there. Um, they probably got you more than you think, okay, you know, so, anyway, I'm gonna shut up about that, um, so I just thought I'd do a little video, um, and explain that, you know, they do things like that, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, um, they can do all kinds of, all kinds of things with these weapons, if you're a real mind control, um, victim, you know what I'm talking about, um, they can do things where you can't recognize it's them, um, you know, and stuff. Um, but reading active memory is very important um, to try to tell, um, you know, it, it's it's not me doing it, it's them, 
okay, they're manipulating my body, my brain, um, and they're adding things in there, um, it's totally them, you know, so it's very important to recognize what they're doing to you, um, you know, if you can't, you're, you're in a little bit of trouble, you know, um, and stuff, but anyway, I'm gonna cut this off, I'm kind of rambling, I'm sorry for that, you guys, um, it hasn't been too bad, but I got hit this morning, is what I'm trying to say, um, they, uh, you know, like I said, they sexually assaulted me at 2 o'clock in the morning, and, uh, and then woke me up at 5.20, um, a.m. with, uh, you know, some frequencies that made me feel un uncomfortable and stuff like that, um, I expected it, you know, they gave me a little time off, um, are they gonna hit me now? It's possible, um, these guys are torture happy, you guys, um, they don't give you more than a couple days off, and then they hit you, and they hit me with behaviorals, um, like I say, there's one frequency that, um, they hit me with, it feels like you're gonna go crazy, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious, feels like you're gonna go crazy, it feels like you're gonna jump out of your skin, you know, it's the worst frequency they use on me, you know, and they do it quite a bit, you know, and it's, it's a scary frequency, because, you know, it feels like you can't take it sometimes, you know, so, I'm gonna cut this off, I'm sorry for rambling, sorry about that, you guys, I hope you guys do well out there, and I'll talk to you later, and, um, you know, hang in there, you guys, and, uh, we'll get through this somehow, and I'll talk to you later.